Hi everybody, my name is Megan Brooks. I'm the farm to school educator at CCE in Essex County and today I'm going to show you guys how to plant pea shoots at home. Uh, some of you might have planted them with me in the classroom. Uh, when we did that we used these big trays. They look like this, right? So the bottom one has no holes and then the top one that we planted has holes so that the, the water can soak up or the soil and the seeds can soak up the water from the bottom. So since I'm doing this at home, I don't need to plant a ton of pea shoots. So I'm just using this old container I had. It's leftover from hummus. Um, and I just poke some holes in the bottom. That's going to be so that my soil and seeds can soak up the water from the bottom. I'm actually going to use the lid underneath it and I'll fill the water in the lid. Um, you could do this at home with any container. Just ask a parent or a grandparent to help you poke the holes in to make sure you're being, being very careful. Okay, so here we have all the supplies we'll need to plant our pea shoots. In the cup up here, we have pea seeds that were soaked overnight in water. We have our container we're going to plant in, a little bit of water, and potting soil for our container. The day before you plant your pea shoots, you'll want to soak your seeds overnight. You can start by putting them in a bowl or a cup. I used a glass here. I just poured them in the bottom of the glass and then I filled it up with water. You want to pour as much water as you can in because the seeds will use a lot of room to expand. You can see by the last picture they've about doubled in size. Now that you've got all of your supplies ready, we're going to start by filling our container up with a little bit of soil. And so you can take a cup and do this with a cup. It might be a little messy if you're okay using your hands. You can just get into your, your potting soil using your hands. Um, and we're just going to fill up our container so it has about an inch to two inches of soil. And as you can see, it looks like it's kind of mounding up in the center because that's where I'm pouring it. So you want to just go gently and make sure it's even throughout the entire container. So now that we've got the right amount of soil in our container, um, we can add a little bit of water in here and mix it up with our fingers. I just did that because my fingers are so dirty. Um, this just gives it a little bit of moisture before we put our seeds in. Um, so once you do that, you can take your seeds and start to drop them right on top of the soil. When you're doing this, you want to try as best as you can not to have the seeds touching each other. It's okay if they are a little bit, but if you can avoid having them stacked on top of one another, that is ideal. Um, and you can go ahead and scatter them all throughout the top. You don't want to push them into the soil, um, and you don't want them um, buried. Just gently on the top. So now that you've got all of your pea seeds in the soil of your container, you're going to water from the bottom. So as I mentioned, the soil and the seeds, they'll wick up the moisture from the bottom. So you want to pour water into the lid of whatever container you use. Just like that. It's important to remember to maintain a good balance of watering. You don't want your seeds to dry out because they won't grow, but if you water them too much, they might get moldy. The best thing to do would be feel the top of the soil, and if it feels dry, add a little more water underneath, and if it feels wet, just leave it for today. Some of you might be wondering why we planted so many seeds. Well, that's because each seed produces one shoot. You can see in this picture. It's a little bit different than pea plants that grow in the ground and produce the peas that you might be familiar with eating. Once you're all set with your uh, planting and your watering, you're going to cover your seeds in the tray or container. You can do this with a towel or a t-shirt and just put them in a dark, warm spot. What the seeds are going to do over the next couple of days is start to germinate or sprout. 
Uh, once they start to sprout, you can take your cover off and then you'll want to put them in a sunny window. Usually it only takes about one to three days for the seeds to germinate, but you can check on them every day and see how they're doing. Um, if they're starting to sprout, take the cover off, put them in a sunny window, and then from there, it'll probably only take 10 to 15 days for them to grow. What you're looking for is um, about four inch shoots, so about that big, um, coming out of your containers. And when you go to harvest them or pick them, instead of picking them out of the ground like you would lots of other crops we might grow, you're going to just cut them with a scissor right along the soil line. And then from there, you can eat them raw like that. You could just give them a rinse beforehand. Um, you could put them in salads, you can have them in a stir fry, Get put them on a sandwich, get creative. Um, send me some pictures of how you're eating them, how they're growing, I'd love to see it. And uh, if you have any questions, you can send me an email or you can type it in the comments and I will be checking on them to see questions and I'll try to answer. So good luck, happy growing, and uh, happy eating your pea shoots in a couple weeks.